isn't it just so much better than trying to record it on our phones right now. Well, it's nice because I think it's one of the best things. I think it's the best thing anyone's ever offered us. We don't normally do product reviews, but after a recent accident, when the people at Vantry reached out to us and asked us to test their award-winning dash cam set, we were intrigued to find out if it was just as good as they said it was. Now, after four years of driving in Latin America, we finally caved and decided that due to the quality of the drivers here, we needed a dash cam. And so we bought a bit of a budget friendly option, this one, and we thought that would do the job. However, recently in Bolivia, we had our first proper crash and it turns out that this just wasn't up to the challenge at all. What sets the E3 apart from other dash cams is that not only does it have the standard front camera, but it also has the rear and it has a cab camera. So let's go and have a look at it. Now, what's the main reason anyone buys a dash cam? It's for added security. So when it comes to recording, the E3 is the holy grail of dash cams as it comes with a front facing camera, a rear facing camera and a camera which focuses on the cab. So when we had our crash in Bolivia, we would have had footage of the driver illegally overtaking us on the side. And with our cab camera, we also would have had the footage we needed of Willow indicating to prove that she was changing lanes. That would have saved us so much hassle in Bolivia and potentially would have eradicated the threat of the police trying to seize Ruby. Now we've only tested this briefly but we were shocked by just how crisp the video footage was, especially in the night time. Now for aspiring van life YouTubers like us, this is an absolute game changer as it means we've now got a portable studio in Ruby. So make sure you stick around to the end to see just how amazing the E3 video footage really is. Installation is incredibly easy and they even give you a device to run the wire neatly through your window channeling. Here's a video of Willow doing it back in the garage. So we have this little thingy bob for lifting the seal and putting the cable behind the windscreen seal. I've fed this up to our dash vent and now I'm gonna attempt. Once you've run your wire nice and tidy where you want it, all you have to do is plug in this connector that it comes with for your 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and it also includes a USB-C if you want to charge your phone. You plug that in and then you're good to go. I've also installed the remote. It comes with a small remote here and that is to control some basic features like the audio and you can also manually take photos if you want to. In terms of the rear camera, you're going to need to stick it on the rear windscreen and then run the provided USB-C cable down the car to connect with the main camera here. When you're ready to do all of that, you can stick the camera up and it's this easy. Very simple. It's got a magnetic mount, which means it's really nice if you want to just take it away and put it somewhere safe out of the sun or something like that. You won't need to disconnect it to take the videos and stuff off though because it comes with a really good app to do it. The E3 comes with its own user-friendly app which connects via its own Wi-Fi network. Once connected, you get live views from the dash cam feeds as well as options to change many of the camera's direct settings. Now I'm sure what you all really want to know is just how good that video footage is. 
So here's some footage we shot yesterday in Ruby driving around town. We were immediately impressed by the crisp video footage from the front dash cam as we drove away from the garage. And the rear camera was a massive step up from our current camera system. So for me, this camera is a game changer for anyone who wants to be a van life YouTuber. No more getting the phone out to record whilst we drive. It just does it. How great is that? And I kind of like that it's a fisheye lens. It captures so much more of the cab as well. It's pretty hard to fit us both in like on a phone. You kind of like... <laughs> so I think we are going to be using this camera a lot Although, when we're dancing. We do have like fluffy dice heads. Fluffy dice heads. I think it suits you. <laughs> After a quick trip to the supermarket, we decided to set off in the dark to see just how well the cameras would do in low level conditions. You're not really helping me mate. Yeah, cab cameras are awesome. It's pretty good in night. Must have a proper... It's got really good sensors, it says. And they must have a proper infrared. That is really good. Isn't it just... It's really good quality. So Look. much better than trying to record it on our phones right now. What did they actually teach you? Really impressed with its night mode. Oh yeah. We compare it to that. I mean that's good because you can you can see nothing's there, but it's like you wouldn't yeah. want to put it in a video, would you? Terrible quality. It's good enough to reverse with, but it's not. That's actually really good. It's nice because I think it's one of the best thing. I think it's the best thing anyone's ever offered us without us asking, right? Yeah. on the side and oh, the dogs yeah, were barking that. at us. So there you have it. The Vantru E3 dash cam set is one of the best dash cameras on the market currently. And we really, really love it. But we do have two little suggestions that would improve it personally for us as van lifers. Number one. As you can see, we don't have the best visibility at the back of Ruby, so we would love it if Vantru could make an exterior waterproof rear camera. And as well as that, trying to run a cable down the entire length of your camper is not as easy as a car, so if it was Bluetooth, again for us that would be really great. Final point is, while you can get an additional kit to install it and directly wire it into your car, if you use the cigarette lighter socket, it's only got one USB and I would really like two. We use our phones a lot on big drives. They just make such a difference for us in our lifestyle. Yeah, that would be really great. Aside from that, we like great it. Great job, Van Tree. <laughs> if you want to know more about this product, there's links in the description below for you to check it out. We really hope you enjoyed our first proper tech review. 
Hopefully you'll join us next time for some more van life adventures in Ruby. We'll catch you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.